Okay, welcome to our video series, our how-to video series. This one is on the um, the uh, weapons mounted uh, uh, night vision scope and um, this one has the 6 through 60 millimeter lens. Uh, we will be offering different lenses of course, not a problem. Um, this one is going to be de demonstrating how to set up your crosshairs. Um, these crosshairs are digitally created um, in the OSD, the on-screen display and they will appear in your goggles so you'll see everything in your goggles while you're making uh, changes uh, to your crosshairs um, I have this one plugged into the DVR I'm doing this during the daytime so I can see all the buttons and we can knock this one out so let's go ahead on in on the back of your camera on the night vision scope you'll see a red button it's a toggle and you're just gonna push it in and up pops the uh, the menu, the on-screen display. Now, to adjust our crosshairs, the first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to have to add some privacy settings. So we're going to have to go down here, down to motion detection. All right, and what you want to do is push the toggle to the right. It will be off at the beginning. You need to turn it on then push the button in and what you're going to want to do is to make sure that block display is off and monitor area is off okay don't worry about anything else on here leave everything just the way it shows and right here it shows area selection one of four these four area selections are not going to be used in this uh, motion detection uh, part of the on-screen display of the software. So what we're going to do is take these four and they're going to be automatically put to the privacy settings where we can have four more lines of uh, crosshairs. So instead of only having four, we're going to end up with eight. So once we're done with that, we're going to come down here and hit, click return. And before you exit, click save all. That way, if you exit by accident, you've saved your settings. And you just do this by just keep pushing the toggle switch to the right till you get back to exit. Or you're going to go up to next. I apologize, not exit. Push the toggle switch in. Then you're going to come down. Push the toggle switch down. Uh, no, I'm sorry. You're already on privacy. Make sure it's on. And you do that by pushing the toggle switch to the right. See, it's off and the crosshairs disappeared. I'm going to turn it on, crosshairs come back. So we're just going to push it in now to enter that uh, display. Now, as you can see, the area selection, instead of four, we have eight, which is awesome. So we're going to come down to create our first crosshair, and I want you to watch the crosshairs. I'm going to move the top of, I think it's the vertical crosshair. I'm just going to move this slider, and you can see the crosshair get smaller. So you can make your crosshairs as big or as small as you would like and it's done pixel by pixel. I can right now I'm going pixel by pixel and it's a very fine adjustment. I like my crosshairs big. I like them go all the way across the screen because it gives me a level. It gives me a level for my rifle. So um, it, it just helps orient level. Um, this is, as you can see up at the top, this is called area selection one of eight. Okay, the vertical crosshair is number one. The horizontal crosshair is number two. That's the big one going across the middle of the screen. Now, I'll come down and show you how that is adjusted. And let's see here, let's go to the left. Okay, that's the horizontal, and as you can see, I'm making the crosshair bigger. This is how you move and adjust your crosshairs, okay? So let me go back, because I need to keep counting. Let me go back to where I started. Okay, it disappeared. I'm going to go back one to make it reappear. There we go. Now, let's say I need to move this crosshair up four pixels, so I'm going to go... I'm going to go to the left on the toggle switch one two three four 
Okay. Now you notice on the left up there it says top. We need to move it down to where it says bottom. Okay. And we need to adjust that to match up with the top. One, two, three, four. See, five was too far, four was just a good, good enough. See, now I've adjusted my crosshairs to where I wanted it. You can do the same thing with the vertical. Now you'll notice that I have two extra, uh, I guess you'd call them BDC reticle, bullet drop compensators. I think that's kind of cheesy way to name them. I like to use those as range finders. So you can adjust and set the two, uh, I guess you call them the bullet drop compensators, uh, to like measure the depth of the chest of, let's say, a deer. You want to hunt deer, you can hunt with this during the daytime. This camera won't, it won't hurt it at all. And that goes a car by. And you can adjust if you happen to see some deer or whatever you can adjust these uh, reticles to the chest size of a deer at let's say a known yardage of let's say 100 to 150 200 yards okay so if you're unsure of how far away the animal is you can adjust uh, on a known yardage animal let's say 150 yards 200 yards adjust your a reticle there to match the chest depth from the top of the back to the bottom of the chest and then save that and now you know if the chest of that of a white-tailed deer for say fits inside that reticle from top to bottom then you know his distance you know the yardage to the animal <clears throat> so there's a lot of ways you can do this you can put those uh, reticles those lines uh, on the horizontal uh, crosshair you can put them anywhere as you would like. You can have up to eight settings. Okay? So you can have up to eight lines. Um, some people just prefer a dot in the middle. And you can do a dot. And that's very, very simple to do. Okay, well, let's say you want to make either a dot or a small cross here in the middle. I went ahead and um, created one here in the middle because it's kind of hard to see to create one in the in the middle because of all the the OSD stuff you know blocking everything in the middle uh, in that uh, menu so I went ahead and created it and just uh, showed it to you there and um, there it is all you do is you make the top and the bottom of the vertical reticle you know make it smaller and then of course your horizontal you make it you bring it in from the edges and just keep bringing it in until you get it as small as you want or as big as you want Again, you can add it as much as you want or as little as you want. You can go simple or you can go overboard and complex and make stuff look really cool. You can even put your name up in there, but that's another video. This is Thomas Matos with Patriot Prepper Solutions. Thank you for buying our products. We'll see you later.